Newsletters are often designed to display in columns. Because the document you are developing is a newsletter, you will show text in columns. Using other document formatting features, such as document themes and header styles, you will develop an eye-catching and informative brochure that reflects well on your new business. A document theme provides color and font coordination, simplifying your design task. Note the color change applied to the second line of the document after you select a document theme. The second line of the document changes colors because you selected a new color scheme within the current theme. Most of the newsletter is formatted in columns so that it appears as a newsletter. However, a few items, such as the newsletter heading and the store hours at the end of the document, are centered horizontally across the page instead of within a column. You select only the text that is to be formatted in two columns. Using sections, you can format text in a document in different ways. The selected text is formatted into two columns and placed in a separate section. Note the continuous section break shown after the document title, indicating that the title can be formatted differently from the two column text beneath the section break. The section break was automatically placed in the document when you formatted selected text in columns. Because the newsletter title is not included in the two column section, it can be centered horizontally across both columns. With the ruler displayed, indent markers, such as the first line indent, can be dragged to a new position. In this case, you determine that the first line indent is no longer needed in the first two paragraphs of the two column newsletter, so you drag it back to the left margin in each case. Word enables you to change the view of a document, which lets you get a feel for the page flow, noting how text ends on one page and begins on another. That way, you can identify any awkward page endings, such as when a title is positioned alone at the end of a page. In this case, the newsletter appears to be well arranged. The newsletter is improving in appearance, but the headings are not as evident as they should be. Also, some headings are subordinate to others and should be identified accordingly. Using styles, you can apply consistent formatting to page elements, even identifying heading levels. The styles group includes common styles, such as heading one and normal. You apply heading one style to major headings in the newsletter. Instead of selecting each second level heading and applying heading 2, you press and hold Control as you select all headings that you want to apply the style to. With second level headings selected, you apply the heading 2 style. Another way to apply consistent formatting is to use Format Painter. A couple of headings on the third page should be formatted with a heading 2 style as well. Since text with the heading 2 format is already selected, double-click Format Painter and select the heading that should be formatted like the current selection. You double-click Format Painter because you intend to copy the format to more than one heading. If your intent is to copy the format to only a single text selection, you would single-click Format Painter. After selecting the second heading to be formatted, press Escape to turn off Format Painter, or simply click Format Painter again. You format two additional subheadings with Heading 3 style, indicating that they are subheadings of those formatted as Heading 2. Even after a style has been applied, you can modify the style with additional formatting features. As you do so, all text that has been formatted in that style will assume the new format. You modify Heading 1 style to include a double underline. All headings previously formatted in Heading 1 style are now underlined. A style set is a combination of title, heading, and paragraph styles. Using a style set, you can format all of those elements of a document at one time. You select the style set that will color coordinate the newsletter and that will slightly modify the heading styles that you applied earlier. Changing the view to one page, you see that the format of the major headings, camera body, lens, and composition has been modified, removing the underline you set earlier. Headings now display the format of the style set you selected. You change the font color of previously formatted text to more closely coordinate with the style set.
Although pre-designed bullets are available for you to select, you can also define your own, changing the color of the bullet in this case. Having defined a new bullet color, you create a style from the bullet so you can apply the same bullet style to other selections. You apply the new bullet style to other bulleted areas in the newsletter. That way, you ensure that all bulleted items are consistently formatted. The newsletter spans four pages, with headings shown at various levels of detail. By viewing the newsletter as an outline, with headings and subheadings displayed in their order of hierarchy, you can ensure that all newsletter headings are correctly identified. By viewing the document as an outline, you can select the level of detail to show. With the document in outline view, you choose to view up to three levels of headings. In outline view, you can drag a heading to reposition an entire section. Here, you drag one section above the previous. Selections on the Outlining tab enable you to expand or collapse the content of a selected heading. You improve the appearance of the newsletter, applying document formatting to several areas of the document. By applying a theme and formatting the document in columns, you focus on the newsletter's appeal and readability. Using styles, you ensure consistent formatting of document text. Finally, you check the newsletter's organization by viewing it in outline view.